Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. The King of Wands is here. The Knight of Wands and the Justice. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Somebody is somebody is about to be upset. Five of Wands, Three of Swords, because somebody is for sure coming out. Yeah, this is disappointment. The Nine of Cups here and the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, you've been waiting on something to happen for you, either for you to take the lead, to go about doing something, or you've been waiting for a person to enter your life, or maybe someone is in your life. You've been waiting for them to spice things up for them to take it to the next level or something like that um i feel like you're getting some kind of awareness this could definitely have to do with two people with the knight of wands being here and the king of wands i feel like two people are feeding off of each other um energetically you're you're becoming very motivated so somebody could be in your life or about to enter your life they're gonna really bring something out of you that has been hidden something something is being i just heard the words very clearly unhinged okay this could for sure be some kind of love offer that's coming in it's gonna make you very very happy okay and i do feel that you have a person <laughs> someone who has been waiting um I have to give it to you like I get it. Somebody has been waiting on, on the same the same person that's entering your life. Someone has been waiting on that person to enter or re-enter their life. Okay? So I am picking up a bit of a third-party energy because you have this four of cups, three of swords, five of wands energy. This is some type of conflict. It's some type of competition. Okay, it's a third party situation for sure. Somebody on the outside, this could be another lover, friend, family member or whatever, but justice is being served in a situation. Everything is being balanced out so that you can have something to work in your favor. And this is going to lead to something that is very long term. I do feel like you have been waiting on something or someone. There's been some type of stress, fear and anxiety, but what is coming in for you, it is a 100% what you have manifested, which is peace, balance and harmony. You you have the clarity going back to the very beginning. The hermit card is here. You have the downloads to clarity, the truth, the signs, the symbols, the synchronicities. Everything is, is lining up. And I feel like somebody is saying now it's safe. The seven of cups, if, if somebody has been confused about something, they're now saying, okay, it's safe because the page of pentacles is here. You have confirmation that it's okay for you to make an offer it's okay for you to take an offer it's okay for you to create something this page of pentacles though is actually the ten of pentacles five of swords king of swords yeah somebody was maybe a bit confused about this relationship and it comes from this third party interference it's right here somebody somebody who was discontent upset bored who have missed an opportunity wanted somebody else to miss an opportunity it could be a person dealing with this masculine or wanting this masculine to come back somebody wanted a person to miss an opportunity keep in mind a masculine could be male or female this is a third party that has been competing with someone else over some type of long-term offer yeah, there was for sure some kind of a f confusion here. Not anymore. Somebody knows that there's going to be victory and success with an offer. The will of fortune is here. So somebody is for sure standing their ground. Somebody has the strength to stand their ground. So what I'm really getting here is this is for sure some type of third party um, like drama of some sort, whether you know about it or not. Somebody was trying to talk you out of being with someone or going towards somebody or they were trying to tell somebody that is coming towards you or that you're involved with that they should not invest in you. This went terribly wrong because I do feel that somebody, um, whoever was doing this, they were doing it in a very slick, sly and subtle way. But somebody is waking up and realizing, hmm, you know, it's that every time I mention that person, you have something to say. Or every time I say that, you know, this person is coming over or, or whatever. And this could be amongst friends or whatever. It, it, somebody is realizing that there's always some kind of tension. There's always an obstacle or challenge when it comes to a particular person. And it's not because there's something wrong with that person. It's because somebody is secretly jealous and competing with 
another person when it comes to you or somebody that wants to connect with you. So now it's it's best for sure that you stand your ground. You have the strength to stand your ground because you've been going at something for a very long time. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. You have been experiencing this disappointment or feeling like all is lost in the situation for a long time. It's because there, the somebody was trying to take away the, the passion and, and the strong desire that someone has for doing something in their life and it definitely involves another person so somebody could say that they wanted to work with you they want to offer a, a friendship or a relationship to you it's definitely feeling more like a long-term commitment and somebody has been here in the background doing everything to sabotage this but this is moving forward here nine of pentacles the eight of wands is in the reverse though and here is the high priestess and the hangman yeah Somebody here has possibly blocked somebody or tried to set up um, blockages in some type of energy or connection. But I feel that somebody's intuition is still strong enough. Like they're, you're coming into some type of awareness that, yeah, it's something here. Here's the high priestess and the hierophant. It's two people who are awakening to a connection. And yeah, they are going to take the next step in ending whatever is causing an interference for them to have wish fulfillment and a passionate new beginning T together and whatever this is somebody is like let's start let's start from the very beginning there's divine intervention happening here and it has to do with this emperor there is an emperor out here who is for sure um has been receiving some kind of advice from a queen of swords possibly somebody at a distance somebody has been telling this person a bunch of stuff that that wasn't true this king of wands is somebody who is rebuilding or they're trying to establish something. They're receiving a download, the truth and the clarity, though, that, yeah, they are supposed to actually be building something with another person. Somebody doesn't want this masculine, though, to understand something about their soul purpose and their journey. I feel like somebody is for sure like in a very stuck, complacent energy. It feels like somebody is at a distance. OK. But somebody is like waiting on this person to come in with some kind of offer or opportunity or they want this person to stay stuck and stagnant. But this this masculine, it has manifested something that they want that brings wish fulfillment and it could be tied to another person. It's a lot of manipulation here, but this situation is being balanced out. And as far as somebody... Somebody could be telling a person constantly, hey, you need to stay single. You need to stay single because the eight of wands is here to the nine of pentacles. It's like somebody is about to slow down with this whole you need to stay single thing. And they're, they're realizing, no, I don't need to stay single. I don't have to do this project alone. There's an opportunity for me to have a brand new beginning. And if there's someone here to help, then why am I denying this person? Why, why am I denying this offer or, or this opportunity? It's because somebody has been talking in their ear, telling them not to accept something. The Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, the Six of Swords, look, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, the, the Fool card is here. Somebody knows. Look, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody is just like, why, why would I continue to listen to you? Somebody is on the losing team trying to guide somebody and tell them which way to go. And somebody's like, no, <laughs> the empress. This could be a mother figure for some. A mother figure trying to purposely mis mislead or misguide a person so that they don't actually go towards their wish fulfillment. But it doesn't matter because this masculine is constantly daydreaming, fantasizing, um, and, and making plans and I feel letting go of many different options because they already know that a divine feminine is here. Somebody here wants this person to be stuck juggling, but you have the star and the four of wands here. So somebody knows exactly who they should be with. They know somebody is in their head, though. And there's a bunch of restrictions. This is a lot of projected energy. Somebody needs to be very careful with this. 
I mean, honestly, there's not much to be careful about because somebody already knows the truth. I feel like there's like some kind of divine intervention that's just happening. Somebody is not about to remain stuck and stagnant and, you know, unwilling to build with somebody just because of what friends, family, or, or individuals in the community, what they have to say about it. This feels like somebody who is miserable themselves or, you know, not really qualified <laughs> to tell someone how to live, constantly trying to tell a person how to live. And it's good that somebody is finally waking up and seeing like, hey, you need to stop listening to what this person is telling you. Somebody is trying to lead a person down some some rabbit hole on purpose. Or I don't know if it's on purpose, but I mean, it's on purpose, but it's because this person doesn't really have an understanding, I guess, of love, commitment or, or whatever the case may be. The bottom of the deck, the two of swords, exactly. And then the nine of pentacles. Somebody is really, really stuck on staying at a crossroads and choosing to be single. Somebody has constantly been advised, you need to move along and be single. Just be single. Just focus on yourself. Don't focus on that other person. And somebody, is, this masculine is just like, but that's a divine feminine. Why would I not? Why would I not focus on that person? Why would I not build with that person? Maybe it's meant for me to build with that person. But somebody is constant. No. Or or somebody is telling a masculine, that person is there completely out of your league. You need to just leave that person alone. Somebody's blessing is tied to another person. There, there is something that two people are supposed to do together. And somebody is telling an individual, hey, no, I don't don't take that leap of faith. But somebody's going to take the leap of faith because they know that they want to celebrate with this person. Look at that. Three of Cups. <laughs> the Three of Cups, the Sun, and the High Priestess. Somebody is like, that person has entirely too much wisdom, knowledge, power for me not to actually pursue them or invest in them. If this isn't a person, because, you know, sometimes too, this third party energy, it could just be, it could be this masculine's thoughts. There could be a masculine out here that is very intimidated by how much power, wisdom, and knowledge a divine feminine has. I feel like that's a part of the problem, but I feel that they definitely have, you know, the three of swords here, they also have somebody else t telling them what they should and should not do. The king of cups, look at how this person looks though. This person, like, they want to express all of their feelings, but again, something is telling, is holding this person back. It could be their own, it could be for, for sure their own fears, but judgment, there's an awakening happening. Like I said, somebody is coming out. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing this. I feel like somebody is tired of fighting their feelings. Somebody is tired of going against the grain. They're tired of feeling one way and, and forcing themselves to do something else. What I the emperor. You have here the high priestess, the emperor, and the judgment. And I feel too with the eight of wands in this deck. The eight of wands is also in the reverse. I really want the eight of wands is in the reverse in two different decks. There is some type of this. This eight of wands is some kind of energy. It's an unstable energy of, of being stuck, stagnant at a crossroads. This is being blocked. The two of pentacles and the two of, yeah, the divine is coming in saying no more. Whatever this confusion, illusion, you know, blockages and delay, this is an energy that's being projected outward towards like two people possibly. This is being stopped. It's being blocked. Spirit is like no more. The, 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 there's a roadblock that's being cleared here. The tower is here. The tower is saying no. And somebody here is going to walk away from a person that is in their ear telling them, look. Somebody is going to walk away from a person that's telling them they need to walk away 
or not walk towards somebody. This page of wands, you can look at it as this man is walking away from this person. But also, too, this could be a man. It's like it looks like this man has already walked away from someone. Or you can say that they are currently walking away from someone. But either this person is walking away from a person that is constantly telling them to end a situation. It's like as they walk away though, like they're they're going they're going towards what they've been dreaming of, which is a ten of pentacles. Or if you have a person that's in your life and they, it's like they keep walking away from you, they're about to put an end to that. Because I feel like somebody is sitting there and they're asking themselves, why am I not committing to this situation? I feel like that's really on somebody's mind. Somebody's really asking, why, why am I not committing here? What is the problem? And they're, and they're realizing that they need to just go ahead and take a leap of faith, say something or do something, or they need to walk away from whoever this feminine energy is, mother, sister, friend, ex-lover, whoever. Like, they, somebody's like, I need to get away from this. But something here is being eclipsed out. It's some type of news energy communication that is constantly being projected outward towards somebody. And I really, I do feel that it's somebody has insecurities, doubts, fears, because they're going into something that could possibly lead to something for sure long term, maybe even marriage. The Ten of Pentacles is out here twice, but the Eight of Wands is out here twice, both in the reverse. This is an energy. It's an energy of fear. It's an energy of illusions and confusion that is being sent towards somebody because they're going towards something that is stable and the reason why i don't feel that it's really all just a person's mind and it's actually a third party situation is because the devil is not out here if the devil was out here i would say that it's somebody just working against their own thoughts it's more than that this is a this is a, an energy around a person that is is definitely trying to dictate and control a person's life in some way yeah, somebody here is is thinking constantly about working very hard to have equal give and take to make an offer where there is generosity that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is thinking long term, but every time this person gets to thinking about something long term, there is something that is being projected onto them to confuse them. Somebody, I think now they're choosing to fight back. They're like, no, th this is some kind of, it, it's an energy. 100%, this is some kind of incubus, succubus, Jezebel type of energy. And somebody is like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I feel like somebody is really asking, what the, like, what am I fighting? Five of one, look at that, five of ones. I cannot make this. Five of ones, five of pentacles. Somebody is like, it's like who really are you this person is, is choosing to stand up because they're tired of being out in the cold somebody is tired of not receiving help somebody is it's like i i know for a sure fact when i go towards that person or i do this particular thing i have peace there's prosperity there's abundance i'm out here in the cold because I, I hear somebody say, I'm listening to you tell me not to do this, and I'm out in the cold. I'm losing. This is somebody who is taking advice. They're taking advice from a, a, a feminine energy, and this feminine energy needs to, to stop sharing advice with somebody because they, they don't know what they're talking about. Somebody is constantly telling somebody, you need to just stay, seriously, it's a heavy, you need to just stay, stay by yourself for now. You know, maybe you shouldn't date or you don't need to date that type of person. Somebody is looking and they're, they're assessing and evaluating the situation. And they're just like, no, that's not true. This, this could be the type of person. I feel like this is someone who has, is close to you or this masculine, maybe whoever it is. And somebody's like, I've been listening to you tell me to do the same thing over and over. Every time I listen to what you tell me to do, something in my life is sabotaged. 
So somebody is, their conditioning and programming that they're sharing with somebody is actually hurting them. It's not helping them. And I don't know if they're doing that, like I said, on purpose, out of just malice or jealousy or just out of ignorance. But regardless, somebody is like, I'm not listening to this anymore. Five of Swords. Wow. Five, five, five. There's a huge change coming. Somebody, this conflict, the chaos, the competition, the being left out in the cold. Somebody is like, I don't care. I'm about to go and stand up and do what I want to do and have what I want to have with who I want to have it and do it with. Four of Cups. I just feel like somebody has taken like their last lick. They're like, I'm, this is the last time. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> somebody is looking at it like, why? Look, And then the Three of Pentacles. It's two very stable, independent individuals here. That they have everything that they need to come together and work together. This is two people, though, who this could be two people who are telling themselves, you know, maybe we should just stay apart and, and, and work alone. Instead of coming together, I feel like spirit is saying, no, you and this person will actually do better together than do, trying to do whatever you're, you're doing alone. Somebody is, is finally, <laughs> I think somebody is like, listen, I'm done trying to go out here and be alone. This three cups here, somebody now, it's like, no. They're telling their friends, take a shot for me. I'm, I'm going home. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and build with somebody. Somebody here is already very much well established. I think it's a feminine out here for sure. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, somebody is like, so what type of offer are you bringing me? And it's going to require that this person, Seven of Wands, they're going to have to stand up to whoever this is that keeps on giving them this unsolicited bad advice if they actually want this connection. Yeah, Ace of Cups here. Whoops. Ace of Cups. What's behind that? The moon. Yeah. Somebody knows that they're in love. They know it. And they know too that there's an illusion here that's causing them to throw, throw the couple of love away. They have the truth now. So if this is you or somebody. Wow. Look at that. The Ace of Swords, the Empress, and then you have the Queen, the Devil. The Queen of Swords is here and the Three of Swords. This is a toxic, uh, for some, this is a, 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 a mother, a mother figure. Somebody is seeing the truth. That this Empress, this could be somebody's mom or it's a person that comes off like they're motherly. It could be a, a, any, any family member, a friend or whomever. Somebody is realizing That they need to stop listening to this person or this empress is here with the queen of swords. This queen of swords is, is here next to this three of swords. Somebody has a, a, a heartbroken, bitter, cold hearted person that is trying to hold a person hostage. Possibly this king of cups energetically. They know that this, this king of cups or, or whoever this masculine is has feelings for this empress. This person is, is purposely saying things to try to turn a person's heart cold towards somebody that they know they love, that they like, that they would like to pursue, that they would like to build something with. This is, is ending though. It's ending. The world card is here. This is coming to an end. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, yeah. This is somebody's friend, sister, mother, 
whomever. Somebody, this could even be a person listening to a, a spiritual guide or a reader. Somebody who is, like I said, supposedly giving them good advice. It's not. It's not good advice. Because what somebody is doing is really telling a person that they need to be very fearful and paranoid and afraid about starting something. It's something too about a person's maybe their looks, how they look, or how much power they have in, in the situation. There's intimidation here. So this is the kind of this is a situation where whether it's male or female, a masculine, feminine, somebody who is intimidated by you or your person or the, the type of person or energy that you or your person possess, they're telling somebody that's interested in you or they're telling you, hey, you shouldn't pursue this type of person. It's not because you're not good enough for it or it's not good for you. It's because it's something that this person has a problem with. So somebody has been projecting their own fears and self-sabotage onto you so this is the kind of person it's like well you know they don't have the best of luck with people who perhaps are wealthy so if you have a person coming into your life that's wealthy they're telling you you need to avoid that type of person or this could be the type of person like well you know you need to be careful of dealing with somebody that's a, a high priestess or a hierophant. I've dealt with that. I've dealt with a really spiritual person before, and we didn't have the same beliefs, or it's something like that. You know, you need to be careful because the King of Wands is here with the Knight of Wands. You need to be careful with dealing with somebody if there's a bit of an age difference. I didn't have good luck when I did that. So somebody keeps trying to make it as if their bad luck is 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 supposed to. <laughs> Dictate and control everything that you do in your life. You need to get away from this type of energy because they are causing you to have a bunch of paranoia and fear and to stay trapped in this wounded warrior like energy of, oh, my goodness, you know, it's like this doom and gloom. This is somebody who is is fearful and miserable. They didn't have, you know, success in something. So they're really, really trying to paint the picture that you won't have any success in it. Queen of Wands is here. Queen of Wands is here and the Ace of Wands. So it's like you have the power for sure to manifest a very passionate new beginning. And here's the Knight of Pentacles. So we have the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You have this Queen of Wands here with this Knight of Pentacles. There is something here that's it's a difference in the, the, the age, the status between two people. And one of you or both of you have a lot of people telling you that this, this can't work out for you. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Justice. Yeah. Somebody keeps on sharing news and information about their own personal betrayal. This could be somebody who has even like gone through a divorce. Honestly, they're telling somebody, hey, you don't need to get married. Don't do that. You know, it, again, even seeing like the Queen of Pentacles, the, ten, the Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is somebody saying, keep your money separate. You know, which by all means, if you... I'm not saying that people have to combine their incomes, but it's somebody here who is very much encouraging that two people be independent. You don't have to get married. You don't have to be committed. You know, the two of you, you, you should just keep everything separate. You know what it is. It's, it's that type of energy. Somebody here who is selfish and greedy wants to just keep everything to themselves. And like I said, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. It, it may not even be a third party interference. This could just be how they are, but they have been influenced by something or someone to think this way. Whatever it is, though, somebody now is going through an awakening and they're realizing, no, I could do so much better with my actual partner. Why? Why am I? Like somebody is just 
throwing away an offer. Strength card here in the King of Wands. The King of Wands, yeah, Ghost is going to go with this Queen of Wands. <laughs> Six of Wands. Lots of fire. That 555 five, five energy, somebody is about to take action. Because they're like, I know this is my Four of Wands. They know it. I'm just going to pull a few of these love oracles because, I mean, this is the same thing over and over and over again. I, again, like, the devil was here next to, um, when the devil did come out, it was next to this empress. This could be a toxic mother figure or you. this could be a divine feminine even who is dealing with some kind of fear or insecurity about a situation. I am because of me constantly seeing kings with knights, queens with knights. There is a difference between two people. It's something about their 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 stat their social status, their their tax brackets, their income, age. There's a difference here. And these two people are th their own personal fears or People in their environment or their community is really telling them that, you know, they perhaps should not pursue a connection. But I feel like there is something that God has in store for these two people that whatever these 3D matters are really should not be of great concern. It's here. It's safe for you to love. There's there's genuine love here. So somebody needs to ask, why are you not making this offer or allowing yourself to receive it? Seriously. It tells me that somebody is too caught up on the status quo. Somebody is about to challenge the status quo, though, because. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you have a third party here. But for some, this third party is just somebody is confused. They're confused about how to move forward. They actually want a family. You, there could be a water sign here. Somebody is, is trying to build up their finances or they want a family. They're confused. And honestly, this third party, if this is not a person actively like leaving a situation somebody could just be very much um still like emotionally scarred from a previous relationship they're confused on how to make plans with you or you're confused on how to make plans with a person because you're still very confused on how to commit to somebody because of a previous situation. Somebody has like an old wound that still is, is fairly open. And I'm picking up a masculine who had to leave someone behind that is, is struggling right now possibly with commitment. Because something may have went terribly wrong in another situation. And this person is like, why, why am I constantly running away from my own wish fulfillment? This person is about to quickly, quickly move towards you. And, and they're, they're ready now. They're soon. Wow. Divine feminine. Fire. Do you have fire and water here? Now, Sagittarius season is coming up right after Scorpio season. Okay. There's, I told you, it's peace, balance, and harmony. You have the magician, the three of wands, and then the temperance. So something is going to happen possibly coming up during, as we approach Sagittarius season. And right now, Scorpio season, this is that eclipse energy. Things are, are being, um, Eclipse out. You're putting it into certain things. You're you're killing stuff off. Death and rebirth. 
moving into Sagittarius season, something is going to really balance out and it has to do with an offer. And again, like I said too, water and fire. Two very different type of energies. It's one person here is stuck on feelings and emotions. Another person is all about action. But if your emotions are not balanced, you don't know how to how to proceed. This is this is what's being eclipsed out. Somebody not having a good grasp of their own emotions. If somebody has been procrastinating or, you know, not taking action, that's about to change. Somebody is, has been afraid of commitment, though. I feel like somebody. Is. Um. It's, it's just a lot of fear here. Somebody also is afraid, too, that they will mess up a situation. Somebody could just really be afraid of being in a third-party situation or being cheated on. Somebody has been struggling with self-worth. Or somebody feels that because of whatever this difference is between two people, that either they may cheat or the other person may cheat. That's a that's a huge concern. Somebody is it's insecurities, it's intimidation. Somebody is afraid if they don't present themselves a certain way, the other person is going to venture off elsewhere. Or somebody is afraid that somebody's gonna go back to their past. It's something like that. This is a bunch of confusion though. Clingy, wow, won't let go. Somebody there there is somebody who does not want to let go, and they're gonna have to be left out in the cold. In order for a door to open to this fertility, this abundance, these blessings. I feel too that there is a person out here who um, now you have earth. So it is a third party. You have earth, fire, and water. Those elements could be significant. Secret admirer watching you. Could be an earth sign watching you or anyone. They may want to come for it. And now you have air. And then, wow, coming together and proposal and happiness. Somebody is going to have to speak up. Somebody wants to come in with a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and speak up because they've been manifesting a connection. They want to come together. But there's been some kind of manipulation, triggering. Somebody is feeling very rejected. Or they are afraid of rejection because of inner child issues and their 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 lack of self worth. Somebody feels like there is competition here. Wow, twin flame. Wow, twin flame and then commitment with family. Somebody's twin flame wants to come in to have a family okay but i have i am sorry new love complicated confusion reconciliation false twin flame introverted forgiveness somebody has to be cut out it's a false person here that has to be cut out it's like a person there could even be, I don't know, it, it's, it's somebody here, it's either you or a person you're dealing with who is going to really have to let go of the idea of them ever being with somebody else or, I don't know, like their fear of history repeating itself, whatever it is. Somebody can't see something clearly. They can't see that somebody new is coming in or the new person is possibly the person that's right because there's a false twin flame. Or, I mean, the new person in your life could, could be your false twin flame. Somebody around you and your energy is false. 
Somebody wants to say that they're sorry. Somebody knows that they've been toxic and manipulative because they weren't actually healed. Okay. But you actually have a divine connection here that's supposed to lead to commitment of you and somebody having union, having a family together. There being a marriage or proposal. This is what you've been manifesting. So I don't know. Somebody just has to go. And somebody keeps talking themselves out of being in this very beautiful divine connection. So either you, your person is, is someone from the past or you have somebody here in your life now and you are completely in denial about it because there's you're still clinging on to something or someone else or out of fear. Some of you too, you have some kind of connection to some, there's some kind of telepathic communication that you're receiving. It's really throwing you off because you're receiving a lot of telepathic communication from a false twin and it's confusing you. Unavailable. Somebody is unavailable to give you all that you deserve, but this is the person here that you need to create boundaries with spiritual boundaries for sure, because they're telepathically communicating with you. Warning, don't miss the red flags here. So you need to be mindful. You have somebody here that's trying to present themselves like they can come in or present a relationship or a commitment to you. But you know that there's red flags. You know that there's a third party. So you know who this is. You know exactly who this is. There's no denying it. Somebody is completely unavailable to offer you a commitment. But that's the person that is energetically. That's why the eight of wands is out here in the reverse twice, because spirit is saying whatever this telepathic communication or these downloads that you're receiving with this person or from this person, you need to you need to sever this tie because it's confusing you. You're unable to see true love because of the connection that you have to this person that's unavailable and unable to, to commit to you. Somebody is in your life just to teach. They were. They're in your life now to teach you a lesson or they were only in your life to teach you a lesson. The denial, detached with love to clearly see the truth. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Financial challenges could be affecting this relationship. You are, it says you already know the answer that you seek, but it's a lot of confusion because look, you have second chance here and new love, acceptance and vulnerability. Somebody wants a new, a second chance. There's new love here. You have to accept, you, you're going to have to be the one that decides which of these offers you're going to accept. One person you can be completely vulnerable with. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. That's what you need to know when making your decision. It's, it's, it's a situation here. It's, it's unconditional. It may be unconventional, but the love is unconditional. Because like I said, it's you and somebody. There's differences between you for sure. The kind of differences that may make you feel like, oh, you know, maybe this is right. There's differences between you and 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 both of these people that's in your energy to be honest but one is actually available for you to build with and the other one is not but somebody definitely wants a second chance they're longing for you and they're sending you some kind of telepathic communication maybe that's your person or maybe you need to understand that they were just in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson and it's time now for you to completely detach some of you you've and you've allowed yourself to embrace new love and maybe you need to see that the new love is not what you've actually been manifesting and you need to detach and give something from the past a second chance. It's 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 the character of the person. But somebody here is for sure. They cannot give you what you deserve. You know what you what you desire and what you deserve. Yeah, you and this person, you don't share the same vision. But there's something here that requires patience. It can stand the test of time. It's true love. So, you know, it's, it's, it's for some of you being on different pages with somebody, that's just right now. For others of you, you and somebody, you will never be on the same page. 
because there's possibly a third party. They could already be with somebody. One second, guys. Sorry. Yeah, so um so some of you there's you need time apart from a person. But you there's a twin flame here. There's a twin flame and there's a soulmate. So there's a decision that has to be made, but it requires you to take a leap of faith. It's like a situation where there's there's chemistry in both situations. One is um, one situation, I guess, is it's like there's chemistry in one, but there's commitment in another. There's a lot of confusion here, a lot. I mean, but your wish fulfillment is for sure here. There's just a lot of competition, though. And somebody is competing because you're you're about to receive a gift. This this is a more of a spiritual battle, to be honest. There's two different people in your energy. And it's like you have to decide are you do you want to take the the long way home kind of and that's confusing because some of you you've been waiting on a person for a long time but if if they are completely unavailable it's a lot of energetic pull and you know also too with both eight of wands being in the reverse some of you you need to even with the hermit card being here you need to unplug from everything and everybody so that you can see something clearly. It's a lot of, it's intense longing for your energy that's coming from more than one person. And it's the good, bad, the evil, and the ugly. Everybody wants your energy. Some people are lessons and some are meant to be in your life for a lifetime, but until you can really detach to get out of denial here, you're gonna, it's going to be hard. Somebody here can't see that like maybe love is right in, like right there, very close in the, because they're still focused on the chemistry that they had with somebody in the past or something. Like somebody is still longing for something or trying to figure out should they give something else a second chance and it's like how many chances do you want to give to this situation that hasn't worked out somebody isn't even allowing themselves to embrace something new and then that's why there's a it's like well now you're intimidated you're scared is this going to work out is it going to be like the past it's self-sabotage It's a soul tie that needs to be broken. And then it's also self-sabotage as well. And the self-sabotage is there because of this soul tie. Somebody was, re there was deep rejection here of being left out in the cold, but this is the person that somebody is, is clinging to. And I, I feel that it's obviously a connection that's really strong because it's like if you think about this person or they think about you, you're in each other's energy. Heavy. And they will start to confuse you about everything. Somebody really needs to let go of some someone because it's, it's causing them to sabotage everything good in their life. Because they they won't let go of what happened with this past person. Ooh. 
this it's like the <laughs> the energy channel divine channel but if somebody's divine needs to be cleared out yeah there's a bunch of restriction here mental entrapment somebody is stuck wondering somebody is stuck wondering if somebody has like a third party does this person want to go back to their ex or do they want to move forward like th this is on somebody's mind a lot or somebody is concerned like do i need to go for love or do i need to go for money like what what do you need to do it's a cycle here that needs to close out <laughs> 